is, of course, Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them! Oh, yes. Fan culture. Why is it such a huge thing? Thousands of fans all over the world every single day go to such extreme lengths to see their heroes, me included. Why are we willing to put ourselves through hours enduring the cold and rain, even spending so much money to travel as far as we need to meet our favourite actors? Some fans can even travel around the world to meet their heroes. Others, like me, just go around the UK. Sometimes even go around. Forget it, let's just go. Everyone's left anyway. Asking this question, why? Why do us fans go so far to meet our favourite stars? Why me and my friends put ourselves through so much? We've decided weeks ago we're going to do this. So I waited for the biggest premiere of 2016, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Fantastic Beasts written by Harry Potter's famous writer, J.K. Rowling, who some of my friends have waited years and years to meet her. I headed down the day before the premiere with one of my friends as there was theatre awards. We knew there were going to be some big stars like Tom Hiddleston, Dame Maggie Smith and Orlando Bloom. The thing with doing this is that you just can't expect too much. So waiting at stage doors doesn't mean that even if you bought a ticket you're not guaranteed to meet them. It's really crazy to see the types of people who attended the awards. People trying to sell the autographs really can do whatever it takes to get a picture signed. The lengths they go to is quite incredible. Like when the subject comes out, we're climbing over each other, flying over each other's heads, throwing paper in their faces. We were actually quite lucky. We did manage to meet a fair few stars. And as tomorrow was looming over us, we spent the night in Leicester Square waiting for the day of the premiere. It really does take some hard work and some real dedication. Some of these people have actually camped out on the streets so many times to ensure they get front row at these barriers. When the premiere begins, everyone's put inside the pen waiting for the event to begin. There could be hundreds to thousands of fans in Leicester Square at one time. Some people go in costume, some people take flags, some people even write up posters and signs, just hoping in any way they can get the star's attention. Me and my friends have often done it too. We've done things to make ourselves stand out against the masses. Premiers are often chaotic but can also be a lot of fun. You can meet a lot of like-minded people who are all there for various reasons. Realising that you can meet your favourite actors I think, is one of the main reasons of doing it. But then your friend groups grow when you meet more people. Fans will literally climb over at one another for just a photograph or a signature. So why do we really do this? Are we just going there to make friends, meet like-minded people? Is it simply just to meet our favourite stars for whatever reason it may be? Or is it to simply sell the autographs? Drama can happen. But in the end, we're all willing to put our time and effort into exactly the same thing. Reaching over those metal barriers in the hopes that we'll meet the stars. <laughs>